What's the worst habit of a musician? He gets new gear and instead of playing music he starts playing with his gear. And the worst case is when you get uh, the digital uh, multi-effect processor. When you uh, go the days after days uh, through all the presets and you forget playing music. But even with the analog devices uh, it can be the same way. For example, this AMT brick series have built in a uh, button preamp or overdrive. And so you think what would you use? For example, one preamp as a preamp and the rest of the pedals as an overdrive or you could buy into some as a preamp or some as an overdrive. So it's getting confused. But playing with those devices I came up with several creative ways uh, of using them. And that's why I made uh, several videos instead of one long video. And so let's play with those devices for a little longer and uh, find out what you can do with those devices. clean guitar sound is very important for me. And AMT Brick Series offers two kinds of uh, clean guitar preamplifiers. One of them is based on uh, the Fender Ramps, sort of American uh, kind of uh, clean sound, and another one is based on Vox Amps, sort of British clean guitar sound. Well, what can I say? If I connect uh, my guitar to this uh, Vox uh, based preamplifier, it's kind of uh, muddy, and if I turn gain uh, slightly up, well, it's nothing but clean sound, it's uh, more like overdriven sound. The Fender based preamplifier is nice and clean, but it's missing its uh, punch in your face character kind of sound. I heard from many of the guitar players that they use uh, some sort of boost pedal in front of the amp to get this uh, punchy uh, guitar sound. And fortunately I can use uh, one of the preamps as overdrive and get this sort of uh, uh, boost for another clean amp. In my case I used uh, Fender uh, bass preamp as uh, overdrive or boost pedal and uh, the Vox based preamp is the ordinary preamplifier.
combination I can get my favorite sound but uh, this means uh, if I go in clean channel I need these devices be switched together at once with one step so how do you do this all of the pedals uh, have the control loop uh, with the out a and uh, B in and out loop and the classical way that you should connect those you connect the output A of one preamp to the input B to another preamp and the output A from the second device you connect to the input B to the third device and so on. And what do you get? If you switch one of those preamplifiers, the rest of all go in off true bypass mode. But what happens if you connect output A of one device to the output A of the second device? Well, basically nothing wrong, because it works the same way as if you would connect it uh, the ordinary way. You switch one preamp, the other one goes in true bypass mode. However, if you connect uh, in and out uh, B of one device to the in out B of the second device, you can switch uh, both of those devices with one uh, footstep on, but you can switch those off. However, you can switch both of those devices off if you connect uh, one of those devices uh, with output A to the out uh, B of the third device. And so I found the solution how I overcome this problem, how I switch both of those devices at once with only one footstep. And here is another thing. This is RS lead uh, based on a rectifier or Soldano amps and this is pretty high gain uh, preamp and I can uh, use it for my solo sound it's uh, perfectly well and it doesn't need uh, any further devices. Those two I can use as my clean channel and for my crank channel 
I would prefer this M lead. This is a Marshall replica. But it has a sort of low gain and I'm not sure if I use it as the standalone device or if I need some sort of boost in front of it. And so here it is. I can use it with another device as, uh, that I use as the boost pedal. And I have two devices for clean channel, two devices for my cran channel and one for my lead channel. And how do I connect those? I connect uh, the B uh, devices uh, that should be switched uh, together and the output A of uh, the pair of devices to another output A of uh, another pair of devices. And the third one I can uh, use uh, the output A and uh, connect to the uh, in and out uh, B. And so it works pretty good. As I mentioned in my first video, AMT is working right now on their own pedal board for the brick series. Basically, on the bottom of each device you have a small connector and you can simply attach uh, this device to a pedal board. And no other cables are required. And this is good solution. I don't know if they make this uh, pedal board programmable so you can actually decide in which uh, time how all the devices should be connected. And uh, I know for sure that this pedal board uh, has uh, their own MIDI in and output. So I'm afraid this pedal board uh, will be sort of overpriced or at least uh, too expensive. So maybe I have to find the solution how to build my own pedal board.